everybody to Big T Cooks. There goes my skateboard and my ankle. That, that didn't hurt at all. Um, welcome back again. Um, today's episode, Big T's going to attempt the Colonel KFC. One of my favourite takeaways, the KFC. So we're going to try and do my favourite, going to be Zinger Burger, a couple of deep fried drumsticks, wings, and we're going to do some chicken tenders with an aioli sauce and some chicken popcorn. So, um, as you can say, there's no ingredients out at the moment, but what I'm going to do each time I do a, a little bit of the recipe, I'm just going to show you as we go into what we use. So, um, but like I said, pretty, pretty simple, definitely worth, yeah, give it a whirl. Um, takes a little bit of time, but I'm going to show you a few secret um, little hints that I can do to help you cook this, make it more tender and some uh, big teas, secret herbs and spices. So um, why not crack into it? And uh, next we'll be back, we'll be into the chicken. All right, so now we're just gonna get the uh, chicken basted in our um, in our buttermilk uh, mixture here. So what that's gonna do is just tenderize all the bits of chicken. So for the KFC, we're gonna use our, um, our drumstick, our chicken thigh, and then our chicken wing. So, um, we're going to try and leave this for close to 24 hours um, just so the bigger bits of meat can obviously start to tenderize through all that as well. In the process we're going to use some uh, just some red hot sauce, just a, not much in there, just a little bit and some bay leaves as well. So um, alright let's get into it now and just coat, just pretty simple, like just tip it all over the top, just guzzle her in, there we go, all around, all around and the next one in here, probably, probably what's that one there, that's a 600 mil, maybe just a little bit of the other one as well. I'll just give it a swirl. Bit of a mix around there. So there's a lot of chicken down the bottom, so it's going to take a fair way. It's going to take me ages to cook this, I think. So, probably don't weigh too much, but this definitely needs the bath. So, um, while that's sitting there as well, let's just tip in some, uh, some red sauce as well through that. Give that a mix around. And then we'll throw in a couple of bay leaves as well. Just throw them in, throw them in full. Don't need to worry about cracking them up. Um, and then all it is then is just cover that with glad wrap or the lid for the Tupperware container. Let it rest for 24 hours and we'll be back. And the next step here, um, we're gonna do some um, chicken tenders and chicken popcorn out of just uh, two breasts of chicken there. So um, you'll see me cutting them up in the video. All we've got now to soak that buttermilk bay leaves and the Frank's red hot sauce there, which I showed you as well with the drumstick. So um, I'll crack into it, have a bit of a watch and uh, we'll, we'll get them cut. Back here, so all tenders are cut up, popcorn chicken's in there as well, Tupperware container, pretty simple, just tip all the buttermilk in, just whack it all in, just so it coats it, easy as. Same thing as the uh, the bigger chicken, bit of sauce in there, throw in a couple of bay leaves, crunch them up, give them a stir, sit in the fridge for a couple of hours. We're on our next step here, we're going to make a homemade aioli, simple as always, um, got some mayonnaise there, salt and pepper, um, originally I just they're in the peppercorns there. So what I've done, I've just chucked them into the mortar and pestle and then just grounded them down to like a bit of a fine, a fine powder. Um, one lemon, two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice, two fresh um, cloves of garlic in there. All goes in the one pot, give it a stir. So I'll start making that now.
now chicken is ready to come out of the fridge so now it's uh, big teas herbs and spices special so hope i didn't get the specials done then um pretty quick all we want is maybe one and a half cups two cups of plain flour one half a cup of corn flour teaspoon of baking powder and the rest is up to you like i said whatever you got in your pantry celery salt cayenne pepper for a bit of heat onion garlic powder paprika lemon powder a little bit of um, brown sugar a bit of sweetness in there white pepper black pepper so next time you see us chicken's going to be out all this stuff just goes into a bowl like that just a clear bowl and then we just place our chicken in and then we just coat it up so um pretty much like i said just use what you can but this is what big tea uses Now it's go time here guys, so all the chicken's been coated. Um, quick one as well, I use rice bran oil to cook um, all the chicken in as well. So um, grab that, I like that oil. Got the deep fry here, set at about 170 degrees. So let's just pop the lid off now and let's, uh, let's have a crack with these drumsticks here. So just carefully place them in, chuck them in like that. Got a new one today, so we to try and cook these for about 12, 12 minutes. Beautiful, just give them a bit of a jiggle. Nice, you muck around with that a bit later on. Put that lid on. Have a nice. quick check now guys, see what's going on there. Oh, beautiful, all right, let's give them a bit of a, oh, let this to have a look. Right, let's just get our thermometer in there. We want to try and read roughly around 79 degrees and they'll tend to, oh that's even better, so obviously with chicken you want to be pretty careful, 92 they're all about the same, that one's a little bit bigger, so that's a little bit less, so I'm going to take them top two out and let them rest. So drumsticks, wings, uh, thighs are in the oven now, just keep them warm, so now it's got our chicken tenders and popcorn chicken, so this is our last little bit for the KFC, look at that, beautiful. Look at that. All right, just to finish off, Big T's has cut up some uh, potatoes in a big chunk, so we'll just chuck them in there just to go with our KFC. So once again, just a nice sizzle. Let that go for probably 11, 12 minutes. Chicken salt, lid on. Here we go, finale's done, everyone. All the couple of hours of marinating the chicken. Um, what do you think about the spread here? So like I said here before, I've got me chicken thighs in there. Zinger bacon and cheeseburger, favorite meal from KFC. Chicken tenders, I made some homemade aioli sauce with that. We've got some chicken drumsticks, chicken wings, popcorn chicken, fresh potato chips as well with some chicken salt. So as you can see by the spread there, I think Big T's done a pretty cool job. The girls helped me cut the potatoes as well, so thanks to the girls for doing that. Um, like I said again, it's not that it's simple, but it's better than the stuff you buy at KFC, I think. Takes a bit of time, get people around to do it. Um, we're closing up on the 200 subscribers for Big T's uh, YouTube channel, so I think we're about 184, so share it to your friends, cook something like that, and happy days. You're gonna make some people happy, so. Um, yeah, hope you enjoying, we'll see you uh, next time.